Can we really travel back in time to correct our past mistakes or even peep into our future? If such a thing is possible, wouldn't it create a paradox? Time travel, a concept that has fascinated humankind for centuries. From H.G. Wells' The Time Machine to the cult classic Back to the Future, this idea has been a cornerstone of science fiction. Imagine being able to rewind life's clock to revisit moments of joy, avert tragedies, or even to glimpse into the uncertainty of what's yet to come. Yet as interesting as this concept is, it's not without its fair share of complications. The most glaring of these being the paradoxes it might create. For instance, consider the infamous grandfather paradox. If you were to travel back in time and accidentally cause the death of your grandfather before your parent was born, wouldn't that mean you could never have existed to time travel in the first place? Or consider the bootstrap paradox, where an object or piece of information sent back in time becomes trapped within an infinite cause-effect loop. For instance, a man receives a book from his future self, learns from it, and then later sends the same book back to his past self. So, where did the book originally come from? These paradoxes pose a real challenge to the feasibility of time travel. They seem to violate the fundamental laws of cause and effect, creating situations that defy logic and our understanding of reality. But science is not one to back down from a challenge. Enter the realm of theoretical physics, where scientists have proposed various theories and hypotheses to explain these paradoxes. One such theory is the Novikov self-consistency principle, which essentially states that if an event could cause a paradox, the probability of that event happening is zero. Yet even this principle has its limitations and critics. To safeguard the laws of physics from such paradoxes, there comes into play a theory called the chronology protection conjecture. So what exactly is this chronology protection conjecture, you might ask? Well, let's dive into it, shall we? The chronology protection conjecture is a hypothesis, a tentative explanation that's ready to be tested. It's a brainchild of the late great physicist Stephen Hawking. Now you might wonder, why was it proposed? It was an answer to the many paradoxes that come along with the idea of time travel. Picture this. You invent a time machine, travel back in time, and accidentally prevent your parents from meeting. If they never meet, they never have you. But if you were never born, how could you have prevented them from meeting? This is known as the grandfather paradox, and it's just one of the many conundrums that time travel presents. So Hawking stepped in with his chronology protection conjecture. His proposition? The laws of physics, in their mysterious wisdom, would not allow such paradoxes to occur. They would, in essence, protect the chronology of events from being altered by time travelers. Let's break it down a bit. Chronology refers to the sequence of events, the order in which things happen. Protection, of course, is about safeguarding something. And conjecture is a theory that's proposed but not yet proven. So the chronology protection conjecture is essentially the idea that the universe has a built-in safeguard to prevent the timeline from being messed with. Does it mean time travel is impossible? Not necessarily. But Hawking's conjecture suggests that if time travel were possible, it would be so in a way that would prevent these paradoxes from happening. It's a big if, mind you. This conjecture, proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking, suggests that the laws of physics conspire to prevent time travel by macroscopic objects. It's a fascinating idea, isn't it? That the universe itself might have rules in place to prevent us from messing with the timeline. But as with many things in the world of theoretical physics, it's still just a theory. As we dive deeper, we'll explore more about the intriguing world of time travel and the chronology protection conjecture. Now, how does physics prevent such time travel? Well, to understand this, we need to delve into the realms of quantum mechanics and general relativity, which form the bedrock of the chronology protection conjecture. Quantum mechanics, in its most basic form, explains how the smallest particles in the universe behave. It tells us that these particles exist in a state of uncertainty, only settling into a definite state when observed or measured. This principle, known as superposition, allows for the possibility of parallel universes or multiple timelines where every possible outcome of an event exists in its own separate reality. On the other hand, general relativity, Einstein's masterpiece, describes how gravity works. It proposes that massive objects like planets and stars warp the fabric of space and time around them, creating what we perceive as gravity. This warping, or curvature, suggests that time travel could theoretically be possible by manipulating this space-time fabric. 
but here's the catch. The chronology protection conjecture proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking aims to reconcile these two principles. It suggests that the laws of physics, as we understand them, inherently prevent time paradoxes from occurring. Let's consider a hypothetical scenario where someone attempts to create a time machine. According to the conjecture, quantum mechanical effects would become incredibly intense as the machine approaches the point of becoming a time portal. These effects would create what's known as a quantum vacuum fluctuation, an explosion of energy that would destroy the time machine before it could be used. In essence, the universe has its own built-in safety mechanism, a fail-safe that prevents the fabric of space-time from being tampered with. This is the crux of the chronology protection conjecture, an elegant solution to the paradoxes and complexities that time travel presents. And so, whether you're a science enthusiast or a casual observer, the next time you're daydreaming about hopping into a time machine and traveling to the past or future, remember this. The conjecture essentially suggests that any attempt to create a time machine would be doomed to failure. What does this conjecture imply in the realm of theoretical physics? The chronology protection conjecture, as we've discussed, is a fascinating concept that has the potential to reshape our understanding of time travel, but its implications stretch far beyond the realm of science fiction. Firstly, let's consider black holes. These astronomical phenomena are notorious for bending the very fabric of space-time, and they've long been postulated as potential gateways to other times or dimensions. However, the chronology protection conjecture throws a spanner in the works. It suggests that the laws of physics might actually prevent the formation of time loops within black holes, thereby saving the universe from a host of paradoxes. Next up, wormholes. These hypothetical tunnels through space-time have been a staple of time travel narratives. Yet again, the conjecture poses a challenge. It predicts that any wormhole that could potentially allow for time travel would be unstable, collapsing the moment anything attempts to pass through. This means that while wormholes might exist, they could be off-limits for any would-be time travelers. But the implications don't stop there. The conjecture also has profound implications for the nature of the universe itself. If it holds true, it means that the universe has a built-in safety mechanism against time paradoxes. It suggests that the laws of physics inherently protect the chronology of events, preventing any violation of causality. This inherently self-protecting characteristic of the universe is a profound concept that could have far-reaching implications for our understanding of reality. So while the chronology protection conjecture might seem like a piece of esoteric theoretical physics, its implications are vast and far-reaching. It challenges our understanding of black holes, wormholes, and the very nature of the universe itself. Like any scientific theory, the chronology protection conjecture has its fair share of controversies and counter-arguments. One of the key criticisms thrown at the chronology protection conjecture is its reliance on quantum effects. Detractors argue that our understanding of quantum physics, especially when it comes to quantum gravity, is still in its infancy. Hence, to base an entire conjecture on such shaky grounds can be questionable. Another argument points to the issue of energy. The chronology protection conjecture suggests that a massive energy surge would occur to prevent the formation of closed time like curves, the paths that would theoretically allow for time travel. However, critics question where this energy would come from and what form it would take. Would it be a sudden explosive burst or a gradual buildup? These questions remain unanswered, adding to the skepticism surrounding the conjecture. Then there's the philosophical argument. In a universe where time travel is impossible, what happens to concepts like free will and determinism? Some critics argue that the conjecture seems to suggest a deterministic universe where everything is preordained and free will becomes an illusion. This challenges our intuitive understanding of our own autonomy and sparks a whole new debate. Let's not forget the counter-arguments that come from other scientific theories. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, for instance, allows for the possibility of time travel without the need for any chronology protection. In this view, time travelers would simply end up in a different branch of reality, thereby avoiding any paradoxes. Despite these controversies, 
The chronology protection conjecture remains a significant contribution to our understanding of the universe and its laws. The conjecture, like all scientific theories, is not meant to be an unassailable truth, but a stepping stone to deeper understanding and further questions. And in that regard, it has certainly served its purpose, sparking fascinating debates and pushing the boundaries of our comprehension of the cosmos. We started with the question of time travel, and here we are, understanding a theory that potentially safeguards our universe from paradoxes. We dove headfirst into the deep sea of the chronology protection conjecture, navigating its theoretical currents and exploring its fascinating implications. We discovered how it safeguards our universe from the potentially catastrophic implications of time travel paradoxes. We dissected the intricate physics behind it, peeling back the layers of complex quantum mechanics and revealing the fundamental principles at play. We delved into the controversies and counter-arguments illuminating the ongoing debates in the scientific community. From the enigma of time travel to the theoretical implications and controversies, we've journeyed through a thrilling adventure full of scientific intrigue. The chronology protection conjecture, as we've seen, is not just a theory, but a potential safeguard against the violation of causality. So next time, when you watch a sci-fi movie about time travel, remember the chronology protection conjecture and how it stands as a sentinel against the violation of causality. But remember, science is ever-evolving. Who knows what we might discover in the future? The fascinating thing about science is its fluid nature, its constant change and growth. Today, we've delved into the complex world of time travel and the chronology protection conjecture, a theory that seems to safeguard the fabric of our universe from the chaos of paradoxes. Yet, this is only our understanding as it stands today. Tomorrow, we could uncover new principles, new theories, even new particles that could turn our current understanding on its head. The beauty of science lies in this constant pursuit of knowledge, this endless journey into the unknown. It is a reminder that we, as a species, are forever students of the universe, learning and unlearning as we uncover its secrets. Keep pondering, keep questioning, because that's what science is all about. Until next time, stay curious.